Some mustaches, right? Got to be positive about this. Now, I can't grow a mustache. But let me tell you something. We've had a guy come in here who has the most awesome mustache ever. His name is Jonathan. And when I see that mustache, I just think automatically barbells. You know what? To have an awesome mustache, I can't grow one. I can't connect it. I just, it comes out wincy, you know, kind of not so great. But whenever I see a guy that just has that full-blown mustache going on, not that little wispy one, but like a full-blown, you know, big mustache, I can only think that's a man. When I see the French people walking up with the wispy, uh, you know, you see the Italian movies and stuff, I think that's a suave guy. You could tell a lot by a guy's mustache. I mean, come on. If you take a look at it, take the old Chinese man with his long mustache. You know he's full of wisdom, and he's going to say something that says, that speaks to your mind. Why? Because he's at that awesome mustache. It might be thin, it might be big, it might be thick. But mustaches, they define a person sometimes. You don't even have to hear them speak. You just see it and you're like, oh my God, I'm not going to mess with that dude. <laughs> so remember, if you think, well, I, I don't want to grow a mustache. Just remember, if you grow a big burly one, people are going to be like, holy crap, that dude's a dude. <laughs> yeah, whatever, you know. I ain't got a mustache. You got a mustache? Used to have a mustache. Got rid of it, right? Damn right. You want to you wanna get up there and do the rebuttal on this? I could do that. KB Michaels, you good with a little rebuttal to your rant? I'll accept this. Ladies and gentlemen, Johnny Morbid. <laughs> Go on, tell him what for with this mustachioed nonsense. Mustaches, huh? You know what? I had a mustache. Seven years I had that mustache. You see a mustache now? No. Yeah, you know why? Because mustaches suck. <laughs> yeah, see, first off, they're itchy. Oh my god, they're itchy. It's like having fleas on your face all the time. Terrible. Second, you know how grungy that stuff gets? You eat like you have some barbecue. You know what? You're eating barbecue for the next three weeks because it's all right in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And you know what? Let me tell you. It may look good to some, but you know what? I've been told they don't feel so good. Ladies, you know what I'm talking about. Your man's doing his thing. He's right down there. And it's like, ah, oh, man, did I shave this week? I know I did. Oh, right! Because he didn't. Yeah, mustaches. Psh. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, oh, real manly. Because You're going to stand for that, KB. He's talking down your mustache dreams. You know what? You turn around and you say, oh, it gets stuck. That, you know... Food gets stuck. That's not food that you have to eat. That's a fucking snack for fucking later. <laughs> and you turn around and say, a woman turns around and goes, oh my God, did I shave or not? No, she's not thinking that. She is thinking, oh my God, it is tickling the hell out of me and bringing me closer to a fucking orgasm. So before you turn around and say, it itches like a flea, it only itches when you shave it off. But once it's there and it's grown, it is full, it is beautiful, you get to comb it, it's like another pair of peas. And people just identify with it. They're like, take Tom Selleck. Everyone's like, there's a man with a fucking mustache. Hell yeah. Because that is fucking manly. Ladies and gentlemen, KB Michaels and Johnny Morbid!